Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Romans chapter 8. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death. For what the law could not do, weak as it was through the flesh, God did, sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and as an offering for sin, He condemned sin in the flesh, so that the requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who are according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who are according to the Spirit on the things of the Spirit. For the mind set on the flesh is death, but the mind set on the Spirit is life and peace, because the mind set on the flesh is hostile toward God, for it does not subject itself to the law of God, for it is not even able to do so, and those who are in the flesh cannot please God. However, you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. But if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. If Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, yet the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through His Spirit who dwells in you. So then, brethren, we are under obligation, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh, for if you are living according to the flesh, you must die. But if by the Spirit you are putting to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are being led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. As you heard today's scripture passage, did you see the conflict presented in it? The Apostle Paul is explaining that even though those of us who are believers struggle with sin, we are no longer in the flesh, because God's Spirit dwells in us. The word flesh signifies the natural part of each person that desires to operate in opposition to God. That's why Paul says, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Even though Christians have been freed from the domination of the flesh and now have the Holy Spirit, the conflict is not over. That's because our old fleshly patterns have not been eradicated. However, we don't have to succumb to living by them. In fact, we are under obligation to put the deeds of the flesh to death by the power of the Spirit. To fight this battle, we need powerful spiritual weapons, and that's exactly what the Lord has given us. In Ephesians 6, verses 10 through 17, we find the full armor of God, which helps us stand firm and guards our mind and heart with truth. We have the shield of faith to extinguish Satan's lies and the Word of God as our weapon against temptation. Romans 13, verse 14 tells us, Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh in regard to its lust. Are you using the resources that the Lord has provided to help you put to death those sinful desires and deeds of the flesh? Since the battle begins in the mind, that's the place to start. As you reprogram your thoughts with God's Word, your desires and deeds will follow suit. 